And I am certain that whenever you go in to relicense or to do a first time licensing of a vehicle, that they will be carrying out the, the inspections to ensure that the tint meet the meet, meet, meet the criteria and that a vehicle will not be licensed unless it does. And once on the road during their enforcement activity, I'm certain that they will be citing drivers and operators for not meeting or not complying with the legislation. Um, of course, drivers are, are issued with a 10-day warning within which they must remove the tint. If they don't, then by the regulations, it says they are, they, they are liable to a fine on summary conviction of $500. They will have to go to traffic court. Uh, that is what is dictated by the regulations. We have to deal with them day by day. We have had uh, 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 requests for exemptions, and I am and certain that my ministry has not as yet given any exemption. Um, we have not found any legitimate reason to, 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 to do so. And so we have to look at the excuses given by people to, to request, you know, not having, the, the, not having compliance with the regulations. But it's something that we look at uh, day by day and we keep giving the warnings, we keep doing our enforcement work. Any of the exemptions, the requests, were made by the government ministers? No, I can't say. If, uh, of those reaching my office, none were from any government minister. Can you give us an update as to how their compliance has been? As far as we are, as far as we are, are aware, their, their compliance is fully within. They have complied with the regulations. We were asked to do an assessment of ministers' vehicles and all are in compliance.